It's Friday, back home from work. I bought a new $20 stereo thing. Uh, it's worth $20, I guess. So I installed that. And now I'm going to try to move this truck around a little bit. Uh, I can't remember who it was, but somebody told me to try squirting WD-40 into the uh, vacuum wiper motor. I did that a while back, but I haven't tried it. So I'm going to fire it up. I'm going to try to remember to turn the wipers on and see what happens. But I need to move the truck over to this side a little bit. Is there anything under it? I don't know. Jack it up so I can see. <laughs> it's too low. <laughs> Still runs. Yep. Kind of a cool looking old bugger, ain't it? And the windshield wipers still don't work. I can turn the switch and I can hear vacuum leaking under there, so I don't know. We'll see. It tries to, but it don't. <laughs> it's keeping his eye on you. What you fixing to do, mister? Fixing to change the oil. Oh, yeah? That's an awful big jack for a little guy. You getting it, bud? Yeah. <laughs> Does it get too tough for you? <laughs> Mr. Tough Guy? <laughs> Better help you out, huh? No, no, I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it looks like some piping. You gotta find the drain plug on the bottom of the oil pan. I'm not getting the oil. I hope not. I'm backing away some. Hello, Dad. Hello, Pearl. And that is Ow! Oh, gosh. What's wrong? This is tight. Can't get it. Put a little bit on it. Tough girl. Maybe we need the tough dad, the strongest one in the world. You turn it the right way? <laughs> Lefty loosey, righty tighty. That's right. <sighs> You're getting it nice and tight. Hey. <laughs> Where'd it go, Daddy? There you go. Yeah. Am I ready for this? Oh, it remains to be seen. Let's go right there. Oh, wait a minute. That wasn't so bad, was it? No. What are you belly aching about? Why didn't you inform me that when I released the um, oil filter, that oil would come out of there as well? Because it's an oil filter. It would have oil in it. I understand it would have oil in it, but I didn't think it would be coming out of it like this. You'd need to put a pan under it when you told me to go ahead and do that while that was draining. <laughs> oh. yeah, how do you think I learned that? <laughs> hey, you won't put the oil in there. That's the power steering. I know that. Oh. I was just checking the power steering fluid. And how is it? I reckon it's okay. I guess that. Yes, it's just fine. So hot. Here's a funnel when you get ready to put the oil in. This long one. Easy, easy, easy. All right, let's have, have a look. See. Where does it say it's at? Uh, I think up to here.
Look, I showed you. There you go. And push it. Now push it. Push it till it starts. Oh, well, don't rev it till it builds oil pressure. Oh, wait till it builds oil pressure, buddy. Uh-oh, turn the ignition again. Hit start button. Start it up again. Give it a little bit of gas. Okay, good. Turn it up. Let go. There you go. It's got oil pressure. Nothing to worry about. Alright, now shut it off. But quit before you got to it, but you done okay. All right, now check the oil. Let's see the oil. I'm gonna check it. I'm gonna check it. Don't touch it. Come on. Come on. Pop up here in your face. Let's check it. See his gas fluid. <laughs> oil. Ah. Let's see what's down here. You gotta wipe it off now. All the way up to here, Mom. Nah, here. Wipe what? it off. All the way. Make it clean, clean, clean. Okay. I'm going to steam back in. All right. Well, let me help you guide you because it's a long... Here you go. It's a little bit tricky there. Okay, hold on. There you go. I'll push it all the way in. All the way down. There you go. Now pull it out. Now pull it out and let's see where it's at. Whoa. There's a Well, there it is. Pretty low. We got the oil changed. Well, the missus and the missus and the little man done it. Got the oil changed. We got a few odds and ends left to do. We need to finish up the glass installation over there. Probably need to run those wires back to the taillights and such. What do you think? I think so. Need to install some tailpipes. Need to get the emergency brake stuff to keep from rubbing on the dry shaft. Wouldn't want to cut your dry shaft in two, would we? No. It would not be good. Go pole vaulting down the highway. <laughs> well, we still need to weld the spring perches on the axle. Hook up the emergency brake cables. Put a couple more lug nuts on. Straighten out that fender so it don't rub on the tire. Maybe do a little bondo work, maybe not. Fix and, the wipers. Uh, fix the wipers, the wipers don't work. Other than that, she's good to go. Yay. We might drive it to the next little car show in town, what do you think? That'd be awesome. Alright, you better hurry up. <laughs>